Baby, you're the greatest. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a rousing New York welcome to three of the stars who made the Honeymooners so unforgettable, Audrey Meadows, Joyce Randolph, and Art Carney. The Honeymooners! Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Watching those old shows is always a lot of fun. And my wish for every performer is that they will have an opportunity to work with some such comedic geniuses as Jackie Gleason, Art Carney, and Joyce Randolph. Thank you. And if ever there were two greater comedians to play off than these ladies, I never found them in a sewer, that's for sure. <laughs> Life was very different when we made The Honeymooners. Although we all played members of blue-collar families, and money was always tight, we never worried about having a roof over our head or food on the table. No, we used to worry about having a roof on the table and food over our heads. That's what made it funny. But even our most outrageous problems would be solved by the end of the half hour, and a hug before the last commercial tied things up nicely. Today, Ed and Ralph and Trixie and Alice would be hard-pressed to make ends meet. Their quaint apartment house in Brooklyn would go condo, and if they couldn't meet the asking price, they'd probably have to move. Finding cheap housing in the city is practically impossible these days, and it's not too far a stretch to imagine the four of us joining the ranks of the homeless. And as others have said so often this evening, that is no laughing matter. We're grateful for all the fans of the old honeymooners who remember us as we were. But we hope all of you who know just how close we all are to being in that same desperate situation will act now to help those who need our help. And if you do something about it now, all we can say is what Ralphie Boy used to say to Alice at the end of each show. You're the greatest. <laughs> 